Hello and welcome to this video on Bidmus or the order of operations. Now in language, and I don't just mean mathematical languages, I mean human languages as well, what syntax is, is how we understand the structure of the symbols that appear in front of us. So mathematics consists of symbols and we interpret them in some kind of structure. But it's the same in English. English consists of a bunch of symbols, let's say the symbols are the words, and we kind of understand the structure of the sentence, we call that grammar, don't we? So if I had the sentence, I saw the monkey with the telescope, Believe it or not, there's actually two ways of sort of grouping the words to kind of understand the structure of that sentence. It could be that you saw a monkey and the monkey had a telescope. I saw the monkey with a telescope. But it could be that you saw a monkey using a telescope. So I saw a monkey using my telescope. So we can sort of group the kind of symbols in that sentence, the words in that sentence, in different ways to have different meanings. And it's exactly the same in mathematics. If, for example, you ever use my website and you put in some particular answer, I have to in some way interpret the symbols that you input in some kind of algebraic answer and work out the intended meaning. So if I had 1 plus 1 times 2, what do we interpret that as? Now you might be tempted to say, well, 1 plus 1 is 2, and then times that by 2 and you get 4, don't you? But it could be that it means 1 plus 1 times 2, in which case it would be 1 plus 2, which is 3. So we get different answers depending on how we interpret this expression. It's the same here. Does this mean 3 times 2 squared, which would be 3 times 4, and that would be 12? Or do we mean 3 times 2, which is 6, and then square it to get 36? We get different values in each case. Now we have to have some way that we can all agree on how we interpret the structure of these symbols. And that's where Bidmus comes into it. So Bidmus is written like this, B, I, D, M, A, and S. So this is Bidmus. And what these different letters stand for is brackets. I stands for indices. And that's a posh way of saying just powers, like power of two, squared, cubed, etc. Now, D and M stands for division and multiplication, and A and S stands for, you probably guessed it, addition and subtraction. And what this is, is basically an order list which tells us what order we do things in a mathematical expression. So we do this first, this has the highest priority, the highest precedence, and we do anything at the bottom of Bidmus last. Now, if we apply this to these particular examples, if we had 1 plus 1 times 2, we've got an addition there and we've got a multiplication. So which one comes first? Well, there's no brackets, there's no indices or powers. Ah, but we do have a multiplication here. So we do that first. So if we do that first, 1 times 2 is 2. So we now have 1 plus 2. And now we've just got that addition left, so that's going to be 3. So in fact, it was 3. The answer was not 4. What about this one? We have 3 times 2 squared. What comes first? Let's go down this. There's no brackets. Ah, there is a power though. We've got this power. So we do the power first. 2 squared is 4. So that's 3 times 4. And then 3 times 4 is obviously 12. So this removes any kind of ambiguity from how we interpret mathematical expressions. Now you might be wondering, why did I write division and multiplication on the same line? Why did I write addition and subtraction on the same line? And the reason is, is that because one doesn't have priority over the other. So for example, if I wrote 10 minus 1 plus 2, now some people might think that addition comes before subtraction, and therefore they do the addition first to get 1 plus 2 is 3, and they do 10 minus 3 is 7. But that is wrong. We don't do the addition before we do the subtraction. One doesn't have priority over the other. And in the case where we just have things on the same level in Bidmus, we've only got subtraction addition, they're on the same level in our Bidmus list, we basically just do it left to right. So we do it left to right. That's the order in which we evaluate things. So we just do 10 minus 1 first, which is 9, and then we add 2, which is 11. So it's not 10 minus 3, which would be 7. We actually get 11 because we do 10 minus 1, which is 9, and then add 2 to get 11. Right, let's do these various examples we have here. We firstly got 2 plus 3 times. Now in Bidmus, we know we do the multiplication before we do the addition. So we do the multiplication first, that's 12 
2 plus 12, which is obviously 14. What about the second one? We got 4 times 5 minus 2 times 3. Well, we do the multiplications first before the subtraction, because subtraction is right at the bottom. So that's equal to, well, that's 20. Minus, and we do this multiplication next, which is 6. And then that gives us 14. Now, notice this third one is very similar to the second example. So we've got 4 times 5 minus 2 times 3. It's exactly the same as that, but I've just put brackets around the 5 minus 2. So if we look at our Bidmus here, we can see that brackets is the very top, so we do the brackets first. So it's 4 times 5 minus 2 is 3, and then times that by 3. And then 4 times 3 is 12, times 3 is 36. So we can see, by putting those brackets there, we got a different value to what we got last time. What about the fourth one? We've got 10 minus 2 squared times by 3 plus 1. Let's just write Bidmus again. B-I-D-M-A-S. So, we've got brackets here, so we need to do the brackets first. So we look in the brackets, and then inside the brackets, the rules of Bidmus still apply. So what do we do first within the brackets? Well, we've got an indice of power, so we need to do the 2 squared first. So it's 10 minus 4 times 3 plus 1. And then 10 minus 4 is obviously 6, so we have 6 times 3 plus 1. Now, multiplication comes before addition, so that is 18 plus 1, which is equal to 19. What about the fifth one? We've got 10 minus 3 plus 2. Now we've got a subtraction here and an addition, and they're on the same level, so we just do it left to right. So 10 minus 3 is 7, plus 2 is 9. Number six, we've got 10 divided by 2 divided by 2. We've only got division. And we just do it left to right, if we've got the same thing. The posh name for that is that division is left associative. So we do 10 divided by 2 first, which is 5. So we have 5 divided by 2, and 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. What about 7? We've got 10 divided by 2 divided by 2. So I've just put brackets around the 2 divided by 2 this time. So we have to do the brackets first, because that trumps division. The division, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we end up with 10 divided by 1, which is just 10. So we get a different value to what we got before by using those brackets. And then finally, we got this harder one, 8. So we've got 100 minus 1 plus 2 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 squared. So let's work out the content of the bracket first, because the bracket comes first. Well, inside the bracket, the multiplication comes first, because multiplication comes before addition. 2 times 2 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, so we've got 5 squared, and 5 squared is 25. So let's put that in, 100 minus 25 plus 3 times 2 squared. Now, we've got a power here. Power comes first before anything else, um, so that's going to be 4. So let's just write that. And then the multiplication comes before the additional subtraction. So it's 100 minus 25 plus 3 times 4 is 12. And at that point, we've only got a subtraction and addition, so we do it left to right. So 100 minus 25 is 75, and 75 plus 12 is 87. So the final answer is 87.